Sideline Stories, episode number four, we are joined by Mudit Dani. Mudit grew up in Mumbai, India, played table tennis at NYU, and is now among the top 200 professional table tennis players in the world. Let's hear all about his story. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode, Sideline Stories. I'm here with Mudit Dani from India. And thanks so much for joining us today, man. Let's get right into the questions. Who was your favorite athlete growing up? Michael Phelps. His never, never say die attitude just really like struck me. Who would you say the best table tennis player of all time is? Uh, Ma Long. Ma Long from China. What's the best country in the world for table tennis? To play, uh, I mean, you know, by, by the strength, it, it's China. But I think the best atmosphere that I've played in is in Nigeria. I think the crowds are just unbelievable. Why do you think China has the strongest team, strongest players? Uh, I mean, it, it sort of goes down in history. They've, they've sort of always been good and, you know, the knowledge keeps getting passed on from generation to generation. There's a really strong uh, internal uh, competition. Which country is winning the next Olympics, so in Japan this summer? My money would be on China. China? All right. You, you heard that. Anyone who's a sports better out there, if you're betting on table tennis, take China. And what was your favorite moment growing up in Mumbai? Uh, I, I would probably say my first national medal. What was your favorite NYU moment? It, it has to be the 2017-18 uh, uh, national season where, um, you know, as part of Team NYU, we became uh, collegiate national champions and it was also a historic moment for NYU as it was the first time that any NYU sports team had actually become a division one champion so you know to come in in freshman year and, and to already win it in, in the first try was was really really like uh, you know unforgettable for me. Favorite international moment, favorite moment of your career so far? If I could choose two one would be when I won my first ever international gold and, you know, I could uh, stand on the podium, have the gold medal around my neck, see the Indian flag go up with the national anthem playing. That was something that will definitely stick in my memory for a long, long time. And then, of course, the US Open uh, bronze medal, which was the first senior medal for me. So talk a little bit about how you got to where you are today. Yeah, so um, I would say the, the journey started in 2006. My grandmom was going under a heart surgery, so me and a couple of my cousins uh, moved into her house and in her like uh, building complex, they had a recreational room where I could play some table tennis. So I initially started playing with, uh, with my cousins and uh, my grandma's friend was actually an ex-national player and he, he sort of walked past this room while, while going up to meet her. And he saw us playing and he sort of didn't really say much, but, and we didn't know who he was either. But uh, he went up to meet my grandmom and then when we went up, he, he told us that if any one of us is excited, uh, is, you know, looking to play table tennis or something, he, he could help us. And then I started coaching with him. Then from there on, it was sort of, you know, a lot of work, a lot of, a lot of training and, uh, you know, winning uh, certain local events, starting in Mumbai, some junior national medals representing India and Asian world events. And then um, sort of the journey took the next step when um, I became top 10 in the world in the under 18 event. And in the first year of NYU, uh, we, we became national champions as, as team NYU. In 2019, I won my first ever senior medal on the senior circuit. Pre-pandemic in, in March of 2020, uh, I broke into the top uh, 200, so that again was sort of a, another jump in my career. It's sort of important to make sure that the graph is, is going in the right way as an overall trend. So people like me, when I think about table tennis or ping pong, you kind of think about it as like a leisure activity that you might, you know, play with your friends or maybe your friend has like a ping pong table in their basement, you play for fun. How do you see the sport of table tennis? kind of gaining that respect and world recognition that people are invested in it. And when the Olympics, for example, are on, they're excited to turn it on and follow. 
so that that's actually a very good question and the the international body has just uh, launched a new uh, series called the WTT which is world table tennis which sort of aims to do this because right now i think table tennis is a very geographically fragmented sport so it's the national sport of china it's extremely extremely popular in japan korea india germany france you know a lot of sort of asian countries in europe but it's sort of not got that same recognition let's say in africa or australia new zealand or in in the americas you know all over we need to sort of build on that by by having fans um in in the countries that were not so popular in as yet and i think the first thing that would actually lead to that is having top players come from those countries because you know as as a fan you want to see your own country win so when when we see uh, you know some top american players for example and now there are a couple of really good uh, american players coming up then um, i think that's when when the perception will change it, it it will take some time you know hopefully the ittf is is doing a great job with this world table tennis series and that that will help exactly what what you mentioned and what would you say your next goal is for you what's next so uh, for me the next goal is to represent India at the the multi sport events and by that i mean you know the commonwealth games the asian games the olympic games of course is the ultimate goal for me you know that's that's where the grand opening ceremony is you'll get to live in the athletes village and that that experience is completely different from li- playing the professional circuit is my uh, ultimate goal to to be representing india at these multi sport events cuz that's just like the, the highest uh, sort of form of respect and honor that that an athlete can have Anything else you want to add? No, I mean to be honest, I just feel like um, the sports industry, all of us need to sort of stay together through these tough times. With the Tokyo Olympics, it will be a big uh, sign of positivity for all of us. We're all waiting for it. Really like that, you know, people like you are doing these podcasts, you know, spreading spreading the word of, of different sports, different different uh, athletes from different countries, and sort of just bringing together this this whole, um, you know. race of of sports people and sports fans and and everyone else involved because i think everyone is is really an important part of it whether it's it's the players whether it's the fans whether it's the referees whether it's the coaches you know people organizing the events you know everyone comes together in this this ecosystem mudi thank you so much for joining us today future olympic table tennis player representing india we really hope to see you playing on the world's biggest stage one day It's it's totally been my pleasure. Thank you and stay safe.